Denise Dawley Brown has been managing the Isle of Wight branch of Pertemps Recruitment Agency for the last eight years, and we asked her how the business works. Pertemps started uh, its Isle of Wight branch in the Riverway Industrial Estate in Newport in March, let me think, 10 years ago, 1998. Um, we actually celebrated our 10 year anniversary when we moved to this premises in the Mall, which was March of last year, of course. We started life as very much industrial and driving, um, temporary type of staff. Um, I joined the company eight years ago in 2001 and grew the commercial side of the business, which is obviously office-based and more skilled staff. Why would a business choose to use your services instead of recruiting direct? Okay, there's a number of reasons I think um, that businesses might choose to use our services rather than do it themselves a traditional way. Um, on the temporary side of things, obviously, good, good time at the moment um, to um, illustrate that is that business is picking up for a lot of people, be it very slowly. Uh, they have a need for extra workforce, however, don't feel quite confident in taking people on permanently. Um, so what they can do is what we call attempt to perm. So they take the person on through us as a temporary worker initially. Um, as business continues to build, the person does a good job, they then transfer to their payroll. Um, on the permanent side, I've had a number of people quite recently say to me how valuable our service is because um, take for instance a small businessman with a fairly small business where he's very much hands-on. For him to have to initially think through an advert, place it in the paper, at the moment he's probably going to get bombarded with CVs. Uh, we're finding 90% of CVs actually aren't appropriate for the role anyway. You still have to read them, you still have to spend the time. Then when you've chosen a selection of people that are appropriate, you've got to interview, second interview, then obviously you've got to take up references, um, whereas we can screen the applicants and get rid of all that time consuming looking at CVs that really aren't any use. Um, telephone screen the people, if they're then appropriate bring them into the office to register with us. We then go through their CVs with a fine tooth comb, um, ascertain their skills and background, um, and we put forward just a small selection to the client. So literally all he has to do is maybe interview one to three people, say yes, no, take the person on, and the beauty is only when that person starts work do we then give, give them a bill. So. Vernon Tyman recently opened the Chell Green stores and has used Pertemps to source his staff. We asked him why he chose to outsource this role. Well, really, three reasons. One is... Um, time, uh, our time, uh, the more time we can spend with our customers and with our staff uh, here on premises doing what we're supposed to be doing, uh, the more time, you know, it's better for our, our business in that sense. And we just don't have the time to go through lots and lots of resumes, lots and lots of interviews, and to find the people that we need. So that's one reason. Second is quality. Uh, people tend to use, when they're looking for a job, they tend to go to those people rather than apply to individual because they know they apply one place, they're going to get more far, four or five opportunities from that one application. They apply with us, they only get one. So I think we get a better quality candidate that way. And thirdly is risk. Uh, today's employment laws are a minefield and if you're not up to date on everything that goes on, you can soon be in hot soup and we don't want to be there. Well, Pertamps is a established company on the island. Uh, I know Denise and her staff and we've had good working relationships with them and uh, they produced a good product. Karen Critchley is PA to the Chief Executive at White Cable Limited and we asked her why she chose to use Pertemps to find work. Um, I, my reasons for going for Pertemps is um, their marketing to me always seemed very professional. They always, um, and they were very obliging when I went to meet them, hence that's where I stopped. I, I felt that I didn't need to go anywhere else because they met all my personal needs. For me, personally, I was quite fortunate because the um, company that they um, arranged an appointment with, um, that employer actually decided to appoint me, so um, Pertemps actually got it right first time for me, which was great. How do you go about assessing the suitability of a candidate? 
Psychometric testing, really, is what we do. Um, we don't necessarily do it for every single person that walks through the door. Um, it tends to be for the more skilled roles, for obvious reasons. Um, we have the capability of assessing um, their skill base um, on all the Microsoft Office applications, um, as well as things like call centre and legal secretarial skills. Do you find there is a higher turnover of staff on the island as opposed to the mainland? I don't think there is, to be honest, because I think there are fewer um, really good, well-paid jobs on the island for people to flip from one to the other. I think, talking to my colleagues on the mainland, I think the turnover is probably higher on the mainland than it is on the island, definitely. I think in terms of island employment, um, the major skills gaps I think I come across are engineering, particularly RF test engineers. Uh, we have a number of clients on the island who really, really struggle. In fact, um, one particular client now has decided to, to go back to the old apprenticeship scheme. So the older engineers teaching, you know, college student leavers, um, because that, that is an area where there's a very big skill shortage on the island. In terms of national averages, where does the island sit as regards salary levels? I think the island salary levels still need to be looked at. I think we are still quite low. Um, it, it frustrates me because a lot of people are doing exactly the same job over here they would be just across the water. Um, our, st our cost of living is not really lower than, than across the water, but there is still a tendency, I think. I think the unfortunate thing is some of the older islanders have grown up expecting to be paid slightly less. Um, luckily, uh, a few more mainland companies have moved over and started paying a better salary, and I think that is pushing the salary up. Uh, but I think it's still a little low, really, to, to where it should be. And what vision does Pertems have for the future? Well, we're just going to keep improving um, our quality of service. Um, one of the things we have built our business on is quality of service as opposed to cost. We're certainly not the cheapest agency on the island, and I would never want to be. Um, all of my consultants are REC qualified. Um, I myself have just recently passed the Diploma in Recruitment Practice, which gives us some very, very highly qualified, skilled um, consultants in the branch. And um, obviously we've had to have a rethink. You know, we, we realise um, sometimes in the boom times you can get a little bit complacent. So um, our policy this year going on is to even better quality of service for both our candidates and our clients and um, support, you know, in these hard times, more support to clients, working more closely with them to ensure that our service remains cost-effective.